Hey, it's Ben, and in this video, I'm going to a baseball game at Wrigley Field for the first time ever. Let's do this. I'm sitting here in my hotel room waiting for my Uber, and I think it would be cool to share a brief history of my baseball career because baseball was a very big part of my life growing up, and seeing a Cubs game at Wrigley Field has always been on my baseball bucket list. My earliest baseball memories are of playing t-ball in Taiwan. When I was eight years old, my family moved to the Bay Area in Northern California where I started playing Little League. I still remember the first time I saw a major league baseball game. We were in a radio shack shopping for appliances. And back then in the late 80s, they would show live TV, like on all the TVs and stuff. And there's a baseball game on and the A's were playing. Mark McGuire comes up. I had no idea who this guy was at the time. And he just hits this huge jack at the Oakland Coliseum. And I've basically been an A's fan ever since that moment. Little League led to Pony League Baseball. That was junior high school, so uh, around 13 or 14 years old. I was pitching and playing shortstop. Will Clark was one of my favorite players, and I, I remember like wanting to swing like Will Clark, so my swing was a little kind of <laughs> Will Clark-ish. High school is where I started focusing on baseball, so I was giving up a lot of the other sports I was playing. And it resulted in some of my greatest baseball memories as a player, including winning back-to-back -back North Coast section championships my junior and senior years. As a senior, I went 10-2 and two on the mound and hit over 400, which was good enough to be the 1998 Tri-County Athletic League MVP. But the highlight of my entire baseball career was during my junior year. We were playing the heavily favorited Ensenal Jets from Alameda in the North Coast Section Championship game at the Oakland Coliseum, which was the home of my beloved A's. We were trailing by one run in the bottom of the seventh inning, which is the last inning in high school baseball. I led off that inning and was facing future Major League Baseball superstar Dontrell Willis, AKA the D-Train. I worked the count to three and one, and here's what happened. We went on to win the game a few batters later, and against even greater odds, we successfully defended our title the following year. Ben Conley, the leadoff man, good speed, good arm. I then went on to play college baseball at Cal, and another huge highlight of my baseball career was earning an honorable mention all Pac-10 award during my sophomore year, which is basically where my baseball career peaked. <laughs> After college, I ended up playing baseball abroad in England and Australia, and I actually worked for Major League Baseball while I was living in London. I never in my life thought I'd still be playing baseball into my 40s, but I still do play in a wood bat adult baseball league in Los Angeles, California. So that's a quick history of my baseball career. My Uber is almost here, but I hope that helps set the stage for how excited I am to see a Cubs game at Wrigley Field for the first time. Here we go. Lake Michigan right back there. Woo! I thought I was being smart getting to the game early. It is two hours before game time and there is traffic. And it's, I'm being told by the Uber driver, it's definitely game traffic. This is Cubs versus the Rockies. The Cubs are 22 games out of first place. The Rockies are in last place in the division. It's a one o'clock game on a Saturday and there is traffic two, three hours before the game, way outside the stadium. Unbelievable. And they brought the street from here. Okay. You can't go further down. So you just... Oh, that's the stadium up there. Uh, yeah, on the right. 
All right, just got out of the Uber, uh, and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a lap around and see what happens. Right field, field gate. I think our seats are somewhere up here. But I'm going to take a lap. This is crazy. That traffic was crazy. Don't go that way or this way. I'm going to go this way. This is actually right where our seats are going to be, I think. We're in the Budweiser patio. This is right field. Uh, so I think our seats are actually right here. So that means if that was right field, then I'm headed towards center field here. <laughs> this is the main entrance to the bleachers. That's so cool. It's so crazy. The stadium's right here, and then there's this like residential street right behind me. Man, these houses are historical, huh? Wow, they're literally like right. <laughs> the stadium's right there. All right, so this is definitely the front here. That was the back. I'm going to take a little lap. Wow. This is so cool. This is why I wore my navy blue shirt here to kind of blend in with the crowd. Go A's. <laughs> Man, you could not have asked for better weather today. I mean, it feels like California. It feels like San Francisco. About 75 degrees, subtle breeze, humidity isn't too bad. All these uh, restaurants back here. Right. Dude, this is sick! Dude, this feels just like walking in here. It feels like you just stepped back in time. Wow! Stay hydrated! Woo oh, no worries. Do you want me to take a no, picture for you? No, I'll just do a little video, but thank you. <laughs> Dude, that is beautiful. Just walked out here for the first time. I was gonna take a lap, but I figured I'd just sneak out here and uh, try to get a shot of it behind home plate. Because uh, who knows if they'll let me in here later. But it is, uh, my first impressions are, it's not really that big. It's, uh, it's adorable. <laughs> Brings back a lot of memories, man. Showing up to the ball field and uh, playing. Surprisingly uh, lax with just where you can go in the stadium. I feel like other stadiums, especially like the Warriors game, you couldn't even, I couldn't even walk up in here. That's where we're gonna be sitting, right up there with our company. It's the Budweiser patio section or Budweiser bleacher section. I'm not sure which, but Looks like a great view of the field. I'm gonna see if I can get a little closer. It's probably as close as I'm gonna get. There really isn't a bad seat in the house. Like, I'm way up here. Right field line, just hanging out, catching a breather after running around a bit, but it's just, every angle is beautiful. Very cool 
old timey scoreboard up there. Oh, look at these seats over here. The Wrigley rooftop seats, wow. <laughs> Dude, I am so impressed. They have veggie burgers at Wrigley Field. It's so awesome. Whose broad stripes and bright stars. Yeah, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Cubs are down too. They gotta get two runs here. Man, that'd be pretty sick. If you're a Cubs fan, I apologize. But overall it was a it was a good game. And it was just a really great experience seeing Wrigley for the first time. Just blown away, beautiful stadiums, like transporting back in time. It's been a while for me to come to a baseball game. Baseball was a very big part of my life growing up. Even just like hearing the sounds, smelling the grass, all these types of things just bring back uh, a, a ton of great memories from a sport that I really loved playing growing up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stay safe, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.